Oh, excuse me. Hello? Hello, John. Hello, Daddy. What are you so depressed about? I'm going to the movies. Well, you make it sound like work. Going to the movies is pleasure. I'm not going alone, John. Oh, Snooks? Snooks is not the only one that's going with me. I'm wheeling Plato and Hibiscus. <laughs> wheeling who? The twins. I don't know what she expects me to do with that blessed baby carriage. Or the kids either, for that matter. But my wife says we're going to the movies and so... It's the movies, yes. Well, get it over with as quickly as possible, then. Yeah. Goodbye, John. Goodbye. Well, if I ever heard a suicidal note in a man's voice, that was it. Poor Daddy. Snooks, have you got that little package to take along for the twins? Uh-huh. What's in it, Daddy? Oh, just stuff they might need. Where is it? I put it in the carriage, and I put the carriage in the street. All right, let's get out of here. You know, the twins look exactly alike, don't they, Daddy? For a boy and a girl, yes. Hurry up, don't dawdle. It's a lucky thing I found out how to tell them apart. <laughs> how do you tell them apart? Well, I stick my finger in Pluto's mouth. Plato. Yeah, Plato. I stick my finger in Plato's mouth, and if he's got a tooth, it's hybristic. Oh. Well, that's a good way, too. <laughs> All right, sir. You, uh, wheel the carriage. Why? Good practice for you. Besides, it doesn't look good for the neighbors to see me always pushing these kids around. Then why do you do it? I do it to relieve Mummy. She gets tired of pushing them around, too. She don't get tired of pushing you around. <laughs> now, go on. Wheel the carriage. Oh, I'm glad the theater's only a block away. Come on, I have one of the twins to wheel in my toy baby carriage, Daddy. You've got a doll to wheel in it. Yeah, but my doll always sits broke when it tips over. <laughs> well, I'm not going to let you demolish the twins. Why? Because live children are not as easy to get as dolls. Thank heaven. <laughs> Can you see that sign on the theater? Where? On the marquee. What's playing there? Oh, I've seen it, Daddy. It's that Irish actor again. What Irish actor? He's there all the time. Matt Daly. <laughs> That's matinee. What's the name of the picture? It says Bambi. Bambi? Mm. Oh, I can't stand those broken down baseball pictures. <laughs> you want to see it? It ain't about baseball, Daddy. Didn't you tell me Bambi was a little deer? Oh, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I was thinking? <laughs> yes, that'll be a good picture for you to see. Animals and stuff like that. Are we going to take the twins inside? No, I think they have somebody to watch the baby carriages. This is a housewife's matinee. <laughs> Are you a housewife, Daddy? No. Why? <laughs> because a housewife is not a man. A housewife is the weaker half of a married couple who is dominated by the lord and master. Am I a housewife? Uh-huh. <laughs> child is right. Well, uh, wheel the carriage right into the lobby over in the corner. Look at all the men with baby carriages, Daddy. Oh, oh. poor henpecked slob. Oh. Good thing I brought you along to push ours. Park it right there and get a check for it. Yes, Daddy. I'll get the tickets. Never thought the place would be so crowded. The twins is hollering, Daddy. Well, what's the matter with them? I know. <laughs> They're probably hungry. Did you bring a, along an extra... Yes. <laughs> I brought along an extra milk bottle. I wasn't going to... Never mind. Going to... <laughs> Open that package and give them a swig of the bottle. I don't want to lose my place. All right, Daddy. Now, don't go in without me. I won't. Wish I had the nerve to. <laughs> oh, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, two, please. One adult and one child. Oh, thank you. Come on, Snooks. I'm coming, Daddy. Are the twins quiet? Uh-huh. Good. I think you'll enjoy this picture, Snooks. Has it got kissing? Kissing? Oh. Well, what do you want to see pictures with kissing for? You don't like kissing, do you? Don't I? <laughs> well, there isn't any kissing in this. It's nothing but animals. I like Harry Cooper. <laughs> he kisses good. 
Getting more like your mother every day. Well, come on and hang on to my coat. It's dark in here. Don't make any noise. Why? Because you'll disturb the people watching the picture. Can you see any seats? Yes. But there's people in them. (laughs) Oh, haven't they got an usher in this broken down place? How far down, please? Oh. Oh, well. (laughs) Any place at all? Would the little girl like to sit down in front? No. Why not? Because I don't bend that way. <laughs> Any seat will do this. All right. Follow me, please. Who's flashing that light there? Oh, yes. It's the archer. She's going to show us to our seats. Is she going to sit with us? No. Why? Because. Oh. Watch your step, please. Here are two seats. I want to sit in the first row. Oh, sit down. Harlan, this is too lumpy. Hey, get off my lap. <laughs> oh, excuse me, mister. Snooks, come here and sit down. Now, don't make a sound. All right, Daddy. Daddy. Oh, sh- what is it? Tell me your story. <laughs> Out of your mind. You're going to see Bagby in a minute. As soon as the short is over. What short? The picture that's on now. It's a fishing short. I can't see nothing. Look at the screen. See those two men fishing? Why aren't they talking? You don't talk when you fish. Why? I don't want to keep quiet. I want to hear the men talk. Maybe one of them will talk soon. When? Right away. No, no. Ah, get up with that racket! <laughs> Which one was that, Daddy? It was the man behind you. I told you you'd start trouble. Listen, kid, if you'll keep quiet, you can have this orange. Here. Oh, well, Snooks. The nice man gave you an orange. What do you say to him? Peel it. <laughs> Back. <laughs> hey, what are you doing? Give the child her orange back. Her orange? She just poked me in the eye. Well, poke her back. But don't take the orange from her. What are you, an Indian giver? Please, please, you'll have to stop that noise. You mind your own business. Stop them, Dad. Shut up. <laughs> oh, we'll keep quiet, Miss. I'm sorry, Mr. Uh, no. Okay. Yeah. Here's the orange, kid. Thank you. Will you please peel it, mister? Well, <laughs> when you ask me like that... Sure. Yes, that's better, Snooks. Hmm. Ah, here you are, little girl. All peeled. Will you please split it open for me, <laughs> sweet little mister? <laughs> well, certainly. <laughs> there we are. All split open. There. Isn't he a nice man, Snooks? Yeah. How oh, did oh. oh. Why did you squash the orange in the man's face? I'll oh, kill her! Well, wait a minute, please. <laughs> Snooks, don't you like this man? Uh-huh. Then why did you push the orange in his face? Because I hate oranges. 